Allow us to demolish your arguments. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. He also found pieces underneath the can. What? <laughs> Oh my god, I am so enjoying demolishing your ass! You at least call me for an entire game, you self-righteous sociopathic dickwad! And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room! I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko... Earlier, when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. <laughs> I'm sorry, did we blow a fuse? If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? Yeah, I did think about that with the whole poison thing. You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. Then tell us already. Er, uh, sorry. Please, tell us. Oh, was that a bit of humbleness from you? Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room had to have been... Sakura. I because of the poison I think put... it was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poison. I was concerned about this. I did suspect this was a possibility. We're not looking at a murder scene, we're looking at a suicide scene. Stop lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? And you know it. No, it's not a lie. Sakura so definitely went to section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I have to hit Hina with it. I have to make her accept it. Wow, that's we had a lot of these battles here, didn't we? You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Do you have any kind of proof? This should prove it! Hina? Did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? It did? Yep. It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And you knew that. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. 
which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. No! It was me! I... the poison! Because... Because... Because I killed her! No, you didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura, the connection between Sakura and the poison, there was some mystery of the locked room. So only one way to explain it. Here's my answer! Sakura committed suicide. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, that... you didn't see that coming. The killer was... Sakura? Wait, so you're saying... it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it, all so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room, until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door, because you already knew Sakura was dead and because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything, and Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. I have to go get, I have to go get the others. But Shake Alex, Hina left the record. You said you were going to go get everyone else, but your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... I got everyone. Oh, ah, uh, oh, oh. ah she's, she's dead, huh? Sakura's been killed, I see. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence. And yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? And I bet it was to get back at you free. No! No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. Right. So I want to talk to you and one old person as Diakria. Yeah. Oh my god, that face! So I got to recommend hit somewhere. But... Was 
Those are my cool ball hits. We went missing. The punch was supposed to be lock up. Wait, is that her hiding in there or? I am probably switching these two around. What did you do with Maximum Dynamics Redundancy? Okay, that's fine. I feel sorry for Sakura. I can some came from a chem lab. Some phone near Sakura's play with someone grabbed. I switched this one and the next one out, especially how she looks on the pictures. So with that in mind, um, I should probably switch them around. But again, I could be wrong, they're a bit um, multi-purpose, I guess, in this. Let's try and see if I got this one. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Oh my god, that face, it's so dumb. Those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko, she got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Ah, I was right to make switch from the route. Good. <laughs> and she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was Hiro. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko's name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear... She jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura, and she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the queen chess piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? 
It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario, and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort... was you, Hina.